Hello and welcome back. My name is Charisma and this is my how to uh, video on cooking and repairing clothes. Okay, so all we have to do is start the fire. No, not really. We do need to do a few other little things as well. But we will get into that in a moment. Right, so get some matches, have your little campfire and light fire. There we go. That's all done. Now, we've got the meat, and we've got these here, for a reason. Uh, just going to say, if you I start getting the uh, mushrooms, you do find them in there. You, it does say to just eat, but if you press escape while you're eating it, it'll go into your hand. Uh, and then you can just place it in your bag, so you can pick up mushrooms that way. And also, also, I've been having a problem with the salt uh, on here. And it was really, really high. It was up to 900. But I'm finding that eating the sunflower seeds sort of brings that down. Although it increases the fiber quite a bit. So, yeah, there's that as well. And uh, there's vegetable plots kind of all over. Um, I found cucumbers. I found uh, carrots. I found onions. And obviously we know where the corn is. <clears throat> and you can get these sunflower seeds off of the big sunflowers if you're wanting those if you're having an issue with the salt and that's the only thing I've found that's actually bringing it down so I'll just eat another one and we'll uh, see whether or not it comes down any more I'm gonna have to go collect some more I know it's increasing my fibre though that's that's a problem which is not very good but it does kind of fill you quite a bit. So if, if you find that your calorie is really, really high, your calorie intake is really high, uh, and you're gaining a, a lot of uh, weight and things, then just sort of eat some. Eat some of the uh, sunflower seeds. And it does go down pretty slow. So the stomach volume, you know, goes up pretty slow as well. There we go. Try that and see whether or not that helps uh, with the sodium levels. As like I say, it's been bringing it down uh, quite a bit, so I don't know whether it's that or whether or not it's just that I've been making sure that I've gone to the toilet when it's down here, try to just get rid of some of this sodium that's in my body. Anyway, we need the pot, actually, that's another reason why I went in there. So, we've got the cooking pot, and... We're going to make a vegetable stew. Now, as you can see, the cooked vegetables here is ready to craft. These ones that are here, which I found, it's just, it's a bonus component. So I was thinking, well, maybe we don't actually need to have them. You just need to have these ones here that are green. You have to have all those. So you don't need the salt, you don't need the spices, and you don't need the vegetable oil. So the bonus component probably keeps you fuller for longer or, or things like that. So then we can craft that. Again, we're using all these, these vegetables. You can use every single one. So any combination. Take hold of it and put it near the fire. Not too close, not on top, near the fire. And then we just go to check taste. So it's warm and it's raw. So we can actually move it a little bit closer, I should imagine. Oh, I'm going to kick it now. There we go. I don't know why it does that. You have to have <laughs> this up. They so can move it a little tiny bit closer. We don't want to move it too close to the heat. In fact, we're going to need another log, actually. Um, can we just go into this, please? Oh, that's why. We might need to move it away from the fire. If it gets too hot and it starts burning. So, we'll do that. We'll grab this and move it away slightly just so it doesn't start burning. Perfect taste. So it's warm and raw. We'll let that warm up some now. I don't think it's going to get much higher than that unless I put some more on. 
they want it hot there you go it's on hot at the moment if you just look just above my uh, little person down in the left hand corner it says hot and raw quick taste hot and raw so we'll just keep checking it just keep checking it tastes slightly cooked the meat takes a little bit longer slightly cooked we need to grab some sticks actually and that's cooked and that actually cooks pretty pretty quickly so there you go now you've got it cooked there is cooked vegetables so so easy to do well it's really really big in the hands let's just put this meat in the tactical jacket I mean that's where I always keep my meat so not really but perhaps I'm gonna put it in here there we go we'll put that in there we'll put that in there for now now the meat is a little pain actually we try not to have it so it's burning and it's just the same thing check taste now that's warm and raw I'm gonna fight again I mean she's always vying for a fight this one move it slightly towards the heat I don't want it too hot I don't want it too close because if it starts burning it will it will lose durability so well, that's just warm so we need it to get to hot so don't put a log on it though a log will make the fire way too hot and it will start burning We'll start burning it. So we'll put that away. Goodness sakes. A long stick will do. I say it does take a little while, does this? So go okay, we'll just make it a little bit a little bit warmer. Warm and raw. move it slightly I don't want it too close because I don't want it to start burning at all there we go but if you put a log on it's going to it's going to heat it up way too quickly and it'll just burn And you, oh, that's another thing as well. If you've got the meat and you put it down like this, you press on the F key, you can go to craft a small skewer with the meat, uh, which you they can then place next to the campfire. Now, there are 10 bits of meat on this, whereas if you do the small skewer, you'll only get three uh, bits of meat on that. So I, I don't know whether or not it fills you anymore, but you just put it next to the fire. Obviously, don't have the fire too hot uh, because it will again burn it. So, so fill the fire again. But there's that as well. You don't have to have all the spices. That is just a bonus. Bonus. It's just a matter of getting it sort of to an area where it's going to be hot and cooking. Warm and raw at the moment. And it does take a little while to heat up the fire enough to um, to do it. So it can be a bit finicky. That's why it's a lot easier to make the uh, stew if you have a pot or if you have a bowl. If you just make the stew. the fire there we go I don't want to leave this too long I don't want it to um, that should be okay for now right, we're just gonna go across here and we'll do the clothes while we're waiting so the chest of clothes so open inventory now we have the thread now this it says 
on this used in combination with a needle to repair clothes now no matter how many of these i have in the bag and the needle it won't repair the clothes so i'll go like this and we'll put put all of these in all of them all of those in we'll put a needle in that's absolutely fine so we right click on that and it's only giving us the options to cut into rags, equip, add access. Okay, but we we have plenty there to do it. So I think that might be that might be broken. Um, I'm not sure. You'll have to um, have a little look for that. Uh, but we do have a sewing kit. We have a sewing kit here. Now if I take that out and put that in the bag. I can then click, right click on this to go to repair all or repair by 10%. So I'm just going to repair all if it's doing it. Yep, there you go. Done. Fully repaired. And we've still got some of the sewing kit left. So there's the clothes repair. I'm not sure how to do the military boots. I don't know whether or not you can use the sewing kit to, to do that as well. Oh, yes, you do. There we go. Really don't want to use it on that one though. This one's not too bad. So we'll repair all because I don't want to use all the sewing kit. Nope, that's just the one. So we've got a pair of boots now that's 100%. So don't let your items totally break. Um, make sure they've got st still some durability on them. Well, let's double check this now. Check taste. It's warm and raw. We're going to need to move it, and I don't really want to move it too close to the heat. Because once it starts burning, like I say, it loses durability. It might just be that it's just taking a while to warm up. That like warm and raw. Well, will you stop pressing the escape button, woman? I'm talking to myself there, obviously not not the uh, the lady. Okay, add a little bit more fuel. We will double check first. Get taste warm and raw. Add a little bit more fuel to the fire. A little bit more heat going. Maybe that will help. So hot and raw. There we go, it's starting to cook now. Might get a little bit too warm. If it does just sort of move it slightly away from the heat. Hot and raw. And this should end up cooked soon. It should say cooking soon. So just keep checking it. While you're stood here. Just take a little while but you do need to keep sort of topping this up to keep the heat up and you can only use the long sticks you can't use the smaller sticks you can only use long long sticks so okay and that's uh that taste so it's hot and raw i don't really want to leave it <laughs> i don't want to walk away Open inventory. No, there's just small sticks in that one. Do you have any sticks? Did I put any sticks in here? There's a bundle of wooden sticks. Craft. I think they're the long ones. I believe. I believe they are. Yeah, there's two long sticks there. Uh, check taste. Raw. I want to just keep checking. Might need to move it. Might need to move it if it gets a little bit too warm. Still saying hot and raw. Still hot and raw. That sounds like it's burning though. 
If it starts burning, just grab it really quickly. But it should start cooking soon. I know it just takes takes a little while. That's what you're waiting for, which is why I say the stew is actually really, really um, a lot easier to do. And you do get ten lots of the stew, of the vegetable stew, is a lot easier than cooking the raw meat. Unfortunately, for the other stew with the meat in, you do need the oil. That is actually uh, not a bonus. A bonus one. So this one down here, you you do actually need the oil. These are the bonus items then. Find garlic around. That's cool, but you do need the oil for that one. I think the vegetable stew is just as uh, just as good at the moment. So. Well, come on. Taking a while. Put some more fuel on. Come on. Take that long to grill a pork steak. <laughs> totally my thumbs now. Come on. Hot and raw. <laughs> I don't want to run across to the other bush over there just to grab some sticks. Kind of nervous about leaving it on the fire. I don't want to turn around and it be gone because it's burnt. I'm going to run really quickly. Run, 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 run. Pressing the, the shift key again. I thought it'd be warm enough after I'd done the stew to actually cook that, but clearly not. Clearly not. Let's run back with this. Run back with this. Oh, slightly cooked. There we go. I just had to turn away from it for a second. But make sure that it's it's over and it's staying hot. If it's warm, it's not close enough to the heat. But don't put too much fuel on. Otherwise, it will get too hot. If it goes down to warm, it needs to be filled with the fire. It needs to stay hot and cooking and that type of thing, so. So yeah, there's uh, potatoes up there, there's sweet corn up there. If you follow that road around from where I am at the moment, there's a little like farm at the top. And then there's some metal metal dome containers, and they've got uh, the other crops in there. As well, there's carrots in there. And you can find fruit and veg around here as well. There's some watermelon uh, over in one of the houses over there, one of the gardens. And uh, I will show you where I'm about to say I am again. Uh, I'm just I'm just where the little red dot is, and the town that I'm I'm looking at when I look that way is the town that's just to the right of me there, slightly down. That looks that sounds like it's cooked. There we go, and cooked. And that is how to cook the pork steaks on the improvised grill. That house there, I think, is the one with the with my little sticks pointing. Uh, that's the one there with the melons in. So if you're having problems finding water or your hydration is going down, if you go across there, go to the garden, 
thick of a watermelon you can cut it into four pieces and that gives you a decent amount of water uh, let's have a look to see if the sodium's come down no, it's not come down anymore just yet typing once these have, have gone through it will uh, but it was up it was just under a thousand uh yeah so kind of dangerous i need to go get some more sunflower seeds the sunflower seeds are up there as well as uh, onions in one of these gardens and obviously you get the corn from around here and the cucumbers are from one of the dome containers up there so that is how to do at least a couple of the foods so you only need a you need a pot or a bowl for the stews uh, crafting silly silly me there you go so a plastic bowl, I don't know why you'd have a plastic bowl really near the fire, or there's the cooking pot, and you need six vegetables. You can have all the same vegetables, so you can basically do all potatoes if you can only get potatoes, or you can do all corn if you can only get corn. Uh, two of the waters, or cans, you can actually use the soda cans. There you go. If the cans are empty, or if you want to empty them first and then go and fill them with water, there's a well and things down in the towns. You'll find that either a well or a pump, a little blue pump. Fill the cans from there and you can use those in the cooking pot. So it's just a matter of finding the cooking pot. But that's how to do the meat for now. So if you can get hold of some meat, make one of these. This needs cans as well, unfortunately. Uh, but you know it does work pretty well just don't have the fire too hot don't put a log on just put long sticks on and that will keep it at a decent temperature and not too hot so you won't burn your food all right guys well hopefully you enjoyed this episode uh, if you did please put a thumbs up it will help other people find the video uh, and if they're needing help with the cooking or the sewing and repairing of clothes then they will find it through your help there are also a few other little how-to videos uh, on Scum and if you let me know anything that you're sort of having trouble with or there's any other tips that we can actually do a video on uh, to help other people out then please let me know in the comment section below. You can find my actual playthrough of the game, the solo playthrough, playthrough of the game. Uh, in my playlists uh, if you want to see what I'm doing here and whereabouts I'm going and everything else uh, you can find that in the playlists or I will put the link in the description for you all right guys thank you very much for watching hopefully I will see you in the next episode until then bye for now